Hi everyone. How are you guys? So today we will build a, a great feature in our e-commerce app. It will be the shopping cart. As you can see that we have in the production, we have a shopping cart feature where you can see that I have two items in my shopping cart and I can go there in my shopping cart. And I can see the items here and I can go to the home page and I can add one more item in the cart so now you can see that we have three items in the cart we'll also have the option to delete items from the cart so we'll build this uh, feature today that adding to the shopping cart displaying the cart and deleting items from the cart and also we'll uh, have this icon in the nav bar so when you update something it will also be updated in here so this is going to be very interesting uh, tutorial so i hope you guys are uh, excited to build this part of the project so let's get started so before that uh, I have built this uh, playlist for you guys so you can check out all the tutorials uh, in this playlist and our front end is hosted on Vue.js and our back end is hosted on Java and Spring Boot you can check out the uh, back end APIs uh, here and i have al already made the backend part of this uh, video and i'll upload it shortly so before you see this video it will be uploaded so currently we have only wishlist uh, button in the detail page but we will also build the uh, add to cart item add to cart uh, button in the in the home page and when you click add to cart it will be displayed uh, it will be added to the cart and you can see the cart here so okay so let's start the coding and uh, the starting point of, of the code will be this branch uh, if you haven't watched the previous videos you can watch the previous videos or you can just follow along with me you can just check out this wishlist branch that will be the starting point for this tutorial and uh, and i have made this a new branch youtube shopping cart after i finish this tutorial i will push my code into this branch and you can check out the finished uh, uh, finished code in this branch i will also add this to github two links of the github in the description below so you can check it out so let's get started so we have this button add to wish list and let's add in a one more button that will be add to shopping cart let's go to the show details page and let's add the button here there So we have this button add to wish list. So beside like below the uh, description, we'll have two button. One is quantity and one is add to cart. Because we can we also need to pass the amount of uh, items in the cart. So let's add these two buttons here. So uh, after the description and below and uh, uh, above the features, we'll add this button. So we'll add it somewhere here after the product description let's add it here deep dot class no, deep dot let's give a class of uh, flex
and let's keep div dot class div dot input group column md3 for medium screen for normal screen and just care zero padding and then div dot input group prepend will have input group and then span will have a span for the number input group text and let's make it quantity Yes, you can see it here. And then you will give some and we have to also show the number. So we have give the class from control. type number Okay, I have, we have the number here, like this. All right, and we also have to add the button, add to cart here. So let's keep input group. So similarly, we will divide in two parts, three, three for medium screen and for large, for normal screen, just four and just three zero. And let's give a button. for add to cart and when you click it will trigger a function so let's make it add to cart ok so add to cart is there quantity is there We have to make a function and bind the value of the number like if we have one like if you have one two three so you have to also have the number here suppose you have give six and seven eight so we have to also pass the number here so let's refresh the page once again add to cut and we have to also fix it and so we will just uh, may fix the flex thing so we'll make it flex row and justify content between
So we have that to cut and we have to color it and the quantity is also becoming too big. So let's check it. So let's give some also style here. So for the add to cut button, let's uh, give a style, add to cut button. And the background color will be F E B D six and nine. So now it looks a bit better, I think. No. This color will be. Oh, we have to also add this uh, ID in the button. Okay, so it's set to cut and why quantity is so big. Let's check it out. Alright, we'll fix it later. So let's just integrate the um, API to add to add to the cut. So we will make an, a function uh, like add to wish list. We'll make a function to add to cart. So let's make add to cart. And here we'll have like if we don't have the token. Then we'll just uh, send a message that uh, the we have to log in before we use it, like we did for the wish list. So you can have the same thing. So you can just copy it. in cart and now we need to just need to make axios call and send the product id and quantity in the api so if you look at the api cart add we just need to send the quantity and product id and we just need to pass the token in the request parameter we don't need to pass the id to add in the token and so you just need to pass these three three fields so before that you also need to uh, add declare a variable here a quantity uh, so that we know how many quantities we need to add so how we can do that we can just uh, declare a variable quantity And we can by default we can make it one and and we can add this quantity uh, we can link this uh, bind this thing here so I think we can make it V model and quantity. So let's refresh the page and you can see by default it is 1 and you can make it 2, 3 
something like that and you can add to the cart so if are you logged in right now yeah we are logged in right now so you should not see the error uh, okay so all right so it's all okay so let's now implement the function add to the wish list add to the cart so if you don't have uh, anything then we just make it uh, we just show the error or now add to cart and to add to cart we just need to call axios and call the post method so let's call axios dot post and we will pass the url Basic URL and cart and add token will be we just pass this token this dot token product id will be just this of id and we need to part the quantity quantity will be the quantity that we have got it and we will get some response then if we get a 201 code in the response status then you can show some uh, sweet alert that the product has been added in the cart so if uh, response dot status equal to equal to 201 then you just show a Tweet alert that text will be product added in cart and you'll have an icon of success. this not those and if you get error then just uh, console log the error I think that's all to add in the cart. So let's try it out. Let's refresh the page. And also, you need to integrate the function of add to cart. So it should be triggered when we click the function add to the cart. So add to the cart. So here we can bind it on click add to cart so let's refresh the page and let's try it now so let's go to the network tab and let's make the quantity like 3 ok so let's click and he got a response that actually correct added in the card. So let's see the API if he got it everything correct or not. 
so the payload is uh, 3 and uh, I it is 10 so seems to be working fine and let's see if the response uh, yeah, we also got the response to add to the cart so let's see in the response if we got the item or not so we can just get the token and we can check out the get card items controller uh, and let's pass the token here and let's see if we got the item or not so we got the item is quantity is 3 and it is uh, yeah grand angus burger so the api seems to be working fine we have implemented correctly the 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 buttons i will fix uh, the the css bit later so let's now go ahead and make the list to the cart page so we'll have this uh, button in the navbar and here we will have all the items in the cart and i'll also try to delete uh, add the delete, delete function so that we can also delete the functions in the cart so if we refresh the page it should be four yeah, one two three four mm. so let's make this page of uh, shopping cart so for that let's uh, in the views we can make one more page it will be cart So let me click template. And then make it script. And let's make the gray container container So let's give a column to it. It will take the entire space and it will be text center. And let's give some padding and let's make it a shopping cart. All right, and in the ethics script now just uh, declare export default that's good enough for now let's register this in the router Path will be cart. Name will be also cart, and component will be. And if we if we import this this card component, so like we can import 
import part from use and part okay so let's go to the cart page so let's click on the cart so we just have this empty page of cart so now let's display the items in the cart one by one so this is the api to display the item in the cart So when we come to this page, we'll uh, trigger this API. So now go to the cart page and here, as usual, we'll uh, have the data section, which will have some Got items which will be an empty array and then we have a token which will be null initially and we can have something like a total cost which can be zero initially and after the data section we will have props where we will import the base URL and then we will have a mounted section and a, and a method sections And now we'll fetch all items in in cart. So let's make a function that will be list cart items. And here we'll get call the axios to fetch the items from the API. So Axios, it's imported automatically, yes, okay, axios.get and we'll just make a backtick and pass the base URL, we start base URL, then we have the cart, then we pass the token. as a parameter which will be this dot token so we'll call the we'll get this token in the mounted section so in the methods so let's declare a mounted section yes so as you know that mounted section is called before uh, when the page is loaded so the mounted uh, method part is triggered so we'll get the token from the when the page is loaded so it will be local storage dot get item I will pass the token and then we will call this function that this dot list cut items so we got the items and then we will save it in this uh, cut items variable so we will just 
So pass in. We got a response. So you can make a function variable result will be response dot data and this dot cart items will be as you can see in the API we have cart items object and a total cost object so we'll save the items of the cart in this cart items uh, variable so let's save it here so let's save the items here so it will be result dot cut items and this dot total cost will be result dot total cost amazing so we just have these things and if we get some error we'll just uh, pre console log it like we did before so we can just copy paste it all right so we have these two variable uh, let's see let's try to display these items so here we'll loop over the cut items and display and after that we'll display the price So let's comment this to thing. So for all the items, we'll display it one by one. So div dot class will be row. So B for cart item in cart items. The key will be cart item. So as you can see in the API, it's a cart item dot product dot ID. You can also make it the ID as the key and let's give some merge in top and padding top and we can leave some padding in the left so you can make div dot you can leave two in the left and smt and then you can display image so div dot column md3 And let's display the product image here so we can find the image URL here so we'll display it image dot it will, will take 100 
and source will be card item dot product dot image url so let's see let's refresh the page and you see the images are showing and let's display the the headings here actually you can also make this as a component but i'm not going to do that so if you want you can uh, do that you can make it a component and you can reuse it like each part can be a component like for example you can see that this can be one component and we will display components like this the code will be much cleaner in that way we will do it in some next tutorial but not right now all right so let's just uh, display the detail of the product display product name and quantity so let's make it div dot We can give him the five. And some padding or something. So now we have some, we can display card. So div dot card block. It's some uh, CSS from Bootstrap, a card. Click three. And let's keep the title H6 card title. Cut item dot product dot name Let's check it out now. Yes, we have the name displayed and what else we need to display we need to display the quantity the price per unit and quantity and total price so these things these things so let's do that after title we will display the price item price so p dot margin bottom zero Cut item will display cut item dot product dot price 
and per unit and also we'll display the quantity and the total price so let's display p dot zero so display quantity it will be cut item dot quantity and total and also you have to display the total price so p let's see first how it looks okay price is there quantity is there so we just need to display the total price that's it Total, it will be a span front hundred volt. So it will be cut item dot product dot price into cut item dot quantity. So yes. So let's refresh it again. So you got the total price. Awesome. Okay, so let's also little bit fix the CSS. Let me let's add this uh, line in the bottom. So we have left two in the left and three, five, three is eight. So you can have a, after this div, we can have one line. So you can make it uh, div, we can even left some one more uh, empty two uh, length column and then we just display a line and it just can display a line like this. So if we refresh the page you will see the line and let's fix the image so in the image we can give some more classes here to make it uh, look better so we can make it responsive like embed responsive and we can give some style here object fit cover so let's see 
yes but it's not now aligned right so we have to also align this one so there is one more class that we can add we can make it uh, 16 by 9 Okay. Actually, these things can be. We can also give a one. It will be card image top. and let's make actually this one this class should be in the in the uh, div that is uh, containing the image and it should be embedded responsive item no it doesn't look good i'm very bad with css so let's just remove it and yeah, let's keep it like this okay all right, I'll fix this CSS later. So for now, it's all fine. So let's add one this uh, this button here that you can see here. Now also let's display the total price here. the class total cost so I'm padding so it should be run right h5 total Okay, so it should be displayed in the bottom. Yes, but it should not be inside here. So it should be this div. It should outside the div, right? So in this, wait, why it is inside here? Let's check. So here we have the loop, we are looping it. So it should be not uh, here, it should be, one second. So this row should be, it should close in here 
and we should remove the last div yes so yes so now it looks better because we, we made a mistake so the row should be ended uh, in only the shopping cart and this should not be part of the row so now it looks much better the price is at the bottom and the images are aligned in the right way css it can be tricky sometimes okay so now it looks good i should add the option to delete the item in the shopping cart and i should also i will also create this uh, icon here so let's do it uh, step by step all right let's fix the navbar and add the cart item cat cart uh, icon in the navbar all right let's do it step by step So let's add the options. Once so we can also add the option to browse, which will have home product category. So let's go to the navbar. And here we have a drop down for account. So you can also create a drop down for browse. So it will be ul dot navbar nav ml auto li nav item drop down almost same as the as the account so you can create one a for browse and it will have some menu for So let's see if it's working or not. So let's uh, refresh the page and you see browse and we see wishlist. So we just need to change the wishlist to uh, home, product and category. So product will be product and category. So let's make it home. And home is just like home, and we don't need to have token, it should be always visible. 
and we should have product and category What happened? Don't have product. Okay, we don't have the product and category. We'll create the page if needed. Let's first make it home right now. And okay, so it's good enough for now. And let's we'll add the option for the shopping cart. So let's do that. Let's close this one. Let's close the account drop down. Let's close the browse drop down. Count browse. And here we have to now display the the cart nav item actually this should be part of all li and we should have one more like we have form in line so let's see if we make it small Then we have with this burger button and where we have these things but if we make it small then what happens then we have browse such items and accounts and we need to show this cart here so let's do that first so we can make it as li class dot nav item and some display the cut items here we have should have a router link And two will be so we put the cart page from here and I class and it's a shopping cart if a shopping cart
and let's give some style it will be font size 36 pixel and I so let's see if it works so actually to fix it we have to do one thing so it should be all part of the nav bar so we can take the li and copy it cut it this entire li cut it and paste it here and let's remove this URL and we should move this also inside the URL so something like this so let's see if it works now still not working we see this item is here but it's just not displaying it's not right it should be light so that's a problem so we just made a mistake i think yes shopping cart okay let's check it out now yes we got the shopping cart icon so let's remove the cart here cart written here all right we got the cart and if you click here you come to this page so in the home page we have this and uh, no, if you click here we will come to this card page which is good and we need to also display the number here and also you need to add the delete from the cut option we'll do it in the next tutorial today i'm running out of time So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, I will push the changes in the branch that I have uh, that I showed you. So I will in the next tutorial I will fix the number at the delete option in the shopping cart and then we will do the stripe checkout. So stay tuned. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Bye for now.